you to this module. Today's module is titled Syllables in Stress in Pronunciation. In this module, we are going to be looking at the rules of stress and syllabification when we speak a word, that is, when we pronounce a word. Let's get started. Syllables are the unit in which a word is divided while pronouncing it. And the golden rule is that every syllable has to have a vowel, but not necessarily a consonant. So let's look at a few words and see how many syllables these words have. So let's first look at one syllable words. Cat, buy, force, drink, walk, etc. are one syllable words or monosyllabic words. Example of two syllable words or disyllabic words are begin, bury, equal, happy, funny, etc. Examples of three syllabic words are mosquito, September department, camera, vitamin, etc. Now, examples of four syllable words are information, January, American, discovery, and dictionary. But that's not all. There are words with many more syllables. Now, let's look at syllabification. Let's see how many syllables these words have. Cat, buy, force, drink, walk. So one test of syllabification is um, you keep your hands under your jaw and pronounce the word. And see how many times your jaw drops, that many syllables a word has. So in this case, cat, buy, force, drink, walk. You see, my jaw drops one time every time I pronounce these words. So it has one syllable. Look at two syllabled words, begin. So again, let's uh, try it with the uh, jaw drop experiment. Begin, begin, berry, berry. You see, my jaw drops two times. So, begin, bury, equal, happy, funny. They are all two-syllable words. Now, let's come to three-syllable words. Mosquito, September, department, camera, vitamin. So, these are all three-syllable words. Now, coming to the four-syllable words. Information, January, American, Dictionary, Discovery. So, for example, information. My jaw drops four times. Now, an important thing that you need to look at is just ask yourself, do you pronounce them? Do you pronounce all these syllables the same way? For example, January. Is that so? No. But you have an added force or a stress on one of the syllables, right? So we are going to next look at stress and see how a word can be pronounced with stress. So what is stress? Syllables uttered with a greater degree of force is called a stressed syllable and the rest are called unstressed syllables. The three golden rules of stress in English are, first one, a word can have only one, st one stress. That's the first one, a word can have only one stress. Second one, only vowels are stressed but not consonants. Only vowels are stressed and not consonants. And what's the third rule? There are many exceptions to
to these rules. So keep these in mind and let's get started with word stress and rules. Now let's see how water is pronounced. Here the hyphen divides this word and shows how it is, um, how many syllables it has. It basically shows a syllabification and here, here understand that stress applies on the syllables that are marked with bold. Example, water. Here, wa is elongated and said a little louder than the next syllable, t. So, how do you say that? Water. The next word is people. People. Television, television, together, together, potato, potato, banana, banana, begin, begin. So you see the bold um, syllables are stressed. Water, people, television, together, potato, banana and begin. Now let's see why those syllables are stressed. What are the rules for finding out the stress that is applied in a word? We have some rules but also keep in mind that uh, these rules do not apply for all the words and there are a lot of exceptions but a lot of these rules apply to at least 80% of the words in that class. For example, now the first rule is when you have a two syllable noun or an adjective, the first syllable takes the stress. For example, what are those words? Rainy, samples, carton, content. So with the stress, how do you pronounce it? Rainy, samples, carton, content. Let me repeat it again. Rainy, samples, carton, content. Now, two syllabled verbs and prepositions take the stress on the second syllable. So it is relax, perceive, direct, among. Let me repeat that again. Relax, receive, direct, among. So as I have already said, 80% of the two syllable words get their stress on the first syllable when it comes to two syllable nouns and adjectives. Whereas, the second syllable takes a stress for two syllable verbs and prepositions. Now, let's look at suffix. So, the first class of suffix is word ending in er, or and ly. So, here the stress is placed on the first syllable. Understand that if a word ends with er, or, or ly, then the stress is placed on the first syllable. Example, director, orderly, manager. Let me repeat that again for you. Director, orderly, manager. Now, suffix, that's word endings with consonants and y. So here, when a word ends with a consonant or uh, y, then the stress is placed on the first syllable. Example, rarity, optimal, gradient. How do you pronounce that? Rarity, optimal gradient. Now let's look at suffix that is 
words with different endings. So, suffixes such as able, airy, shen, shell, airy, graphy, yell, ian, ibl, ik, ikel, ix, eon, iti, em, imam, logi, and tell takes the stress on the syllable right before the suffix. So, these suffix I am underlining it for you. All these suffix take the syllable right before the suffix. Now, example. Let us look at the example. Able. So, where does the stress come? So, this is how it is syllabified under stand a bill. It is a five syllable word. And what is the suffix in this? Able, right? So, what is the syllable right before the suffix? It is stand. So, the syllable stand is stressed. So, how do you say that? Understand. Understandable. Understandable. The next, similarly, if you see, the next word is durable and the syllables are du, ra and bul. So, able comes here and the syllable that precedes the suffix is du. So, you stress on du. So, it is durable, durable. Okay. The next word, the next suffix is ari. Example, primary, diary. So, where does the stress come? So, ari comes here. Look at this, ari, right? So, now where does the syllable stress go? The syllable that is right before the suffix. So, here it is, pri. And in the second word, it is die. So, where do you stress and how do you stress and how do you pronounce it? Primary, primary, diary, diary. Get it? Good. The third example is able. Examples are visible, terrible. Again, both are three syllabled words, right? So, Ibel and there you go, Ibel. So, now where does the um, stress come? The syllable right before the suffix. So, that is vis anter. So, it is visible, visible, and terrible, terrible. The next word, the next suffix is ikel. Example, magical, critical. So, again underline, ikel goes and the ikel is underlined and what is the syllable preceding the suffix? M-A-G and in this case it is C-R-I-T, crit. So, how do you pronounce it? Magical, magical, critical, critical. And the final one, uh, the final suffix that we are going to look at is X. Example, genetics, pediatrics. Genetics is three syllabled word and pediatrics is four syllabled word. So, you see, underline the X, that is a suffix and look at the syllable before the suffix, that is in this case, in the case of genetics, net and in the case of pediatrics, at. So, how do you pronounce it? Genetics, genetics and in second case, it is pediatrics, pediatrics. Get it? Good.
now let us look at the suffix that is words ending with e, e, is, ik and et. So, in such a case, for example, if the word ends with e, e, is, e, ik and et, the primary stress is on that suffix. Okay. For example, agree. Agree. You see how E is elongated? Agree. Then guarantee. 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 So again, this is stressed. So the final syllables are stressed. Next, ik as in unique or physique. So how do you pronounce that? Unique. Unique. Physique, physique. The next one is prefix. Usually, prefixes do not take stress, but then there are exceptions again. These prefixes are un, in, pre, ex, miss. And these are all, so the words that starts with un, in, pre, ex, and miss. Are all stressed in their prefix. Example, inefficient, inefficient. Similarly, prearrange, prearrange. Okay. Next is compound words. That's two words coming together to form a word. The first example is compound nouns. So, a noun made out of two nouns in order to form one word is a compound noun. So, in a compound noun, the first word takes a stress. For example, seafood. How, how do you pronounce it with stress? Seafood. Seafood. Similarly, toothpaste. Toothpaste. The next class is compound adjectives. So, that is an adjective composed of at least two words. In compound adjectives, the stress is placed on the second word. For example, rock solid, rock solid, sparkling red, sparkling red. Next, we are going to look at phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are words made out of a verb and a preposition. In phrasal verbs, the second word gets the stress. That is, the preposition takes the stress. For example, black out, break down, look out. Let me repeat that again for you. Black out, break down, look out. The next class of words that we are going to look at is reflexive pronouns. So, reflexive pronouns actually show the action affects the person who performs the action. For example, I hit myself. Myself here is a reflexive pronoun. So, in reflexive pronouns, the second syllable is usually stressed. For example, myself, themselves, ourselves. Let me repeat that again for you. Myself themselves, ourselves. Before I conclude, let me give you a small tip on learning stress or understanding stress patterns in English language. Use dictionaries. Dictionaries are a great tool for learning word stress. In a dictionary, you see that the words or the syllables where the stress goes is marked with an apostrophe, which means that's the syllable you need to stress. For example, animation, animation. This module. So with that, this module comes to an end. I will see you with another module on a different day. Until stay safe, happy learning.